Hi, Bashir! Me, honestly, a super duper califragilistic expelidocious day to all of us. So for today, we will make a fitness workout for you without needing any equipment to use. So we have a warm up and cool down activity to keep your health and immune system improved. So we're gonna be doing a cardio exercises in a groups of two with a 40 seconds active and 15 seconds active rest in between each with an ABAB format. So let's go ahead and get started! <laughs> All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get ready for our warm up. We're going to be starting off with March in Place, where you're doing each one of these for 30 seconds. So just a nice high knee march. Just keep those feet moving. You want to slowly start increasing that range of motion as you can. So start with a relatively small range of motion and then start increasing as you get further and further into this exercise. We're about 15 seconds in. We've got another 15 seconds to go on this one. Start working those knees up just a little bit higher. Try to get a little more range of motion out of those hips. We're moving to a jog in place next. In three, two, one. Go ahead and switch that jog in place. Bring those heels up. Stay on the ball of that foot for just a few seconds before we switch over to the other foot. Nice, even pace. Again, start relatively slow. You can always speed it up as you get further into it. Let those ankles and calves start to warm up. Start bringing that core temperature up just a little bit. Got about 10 seconds left until we move on to our next exercise, which is gonna be a torso twist. In four, three, two, one, and switch it. Standing with those feet, do a little wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna rotate those shoulders back and forth. Try to keep those hips relatively stationary, mainly trying to just get a rotation around that torso. So lift, uh, twisting those shoulders left to right as far as you can, as far as is comfortable for that lower back. Again, start trying to push that range of motion a little bit more as you get further into it. We've got about 10 seconds left until we switch to our next. We're going to be doing a row plus a lateral step next. In three, two, one, and switch it. So just a lateral step, kind of a side lunge. Doing a nice long motion with those arms, so stretching out in front of your chest, then squeezing them back behind you, constantly working against yourself. So you want those muscles working against your, those uh, arms, so your bicep and tricep working against themselves, your chest and your rhomboids working against themselves, trying to get a full range of motion and warm up that upper body. Really focus on that step as well, opening up those hips, getting those legs nice and warmed up. We've got just a couple seconds left until we switch to squats. And go ahead and switch it. This is just a traditional squat. Feet, again, just about shoulder width apart or a little bit wider if you want. Dropping down as low as you can, as low as is comfortable. Try to get a really nice deep squat on every single one of them. Again, you can always start with a slightly more limited range of motion if those joints are still a little bit cold. But as long as they're nice and warm, start trying to push that range of motion. Get as much out of it as you can. Got about another 10 seconds. This is our last stretch or our last warm up. Let's just keep it going. Two, one, and let it relax. All right, good job. That's the end of our warm up. Let's go ahead and get ready for our next two exercises. Let's go ahead and get ready for our cardio portion of this routine. Remember, we're doing two exercises at a time, 40 seconds each with a 15 second break, active rest in between. So let's go ahead and get started with our first exercise, which is gonna be a slow burpee. Let's go ahead and start it up. We're stepping out with one foot at a time. Those hands go down to the ground. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Make sure every single time you step out, you're starting with the opposite foot you did last time. So every single time those hands drop down, one foot goes out. The next time you drop down, you want the opposite foot to start out. So just keep that motion going, nice full extension at the top of that range of motion. Again, just keep it nice and slow, under control. Keep that pace nice and even. Keep those lungs open and just try to work on getting a nice full range of motion. We've only got a few seconds left until we switch to that active rest in four, three, two, one, and let it relax, jog in place. We got 15 seconds of jogging in place. Just keep those feet moving. If you end up getting really, really tired in between these exercises, you can always just stand and shuffle your feet back and forth, just kind of rocking back and forth, but always try to do something a little bit more intense. All right, let's go and move into a jumping jack. Nice full range of motion. Nice quick motion. Again, barely letting those feet touch the ground before you're jumping them back in the opposite direction. 
Keep those lungs open, breathing constantly. Make sure you never hold your breath. Just keep that motion under control at a nice, constant pace. Got about 10 seconds left till we switch back to that active rest. Four, three, two, one, and jog in place. So that's all for today in this workout activity. And I hope you learned a lot in this video. See you next week. Bye-bye!